Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Well, I'm working on this old 1999 Dyna. The old girl has had a rough life. I'm working on the transmission, but it brought to point an area that is highly neglected by Dyna owners or possibly new owners that have picked up a good used Dyna. That's this unit right here, the master cylinder for the rear brake. It is tucked away down low and hard to get to. With a stock exhaust system, it's fairly easy. When you put an aftermarket exhaust system on that's tighter and closer, it's neglected. No one wants to reach down between two hot pipes to get to it. It's hard to get to these two screws, but this unit needs to be looked at and everything attached to it. Point in case here, this nut backed off on this customer's bike. All right, which allowed this to rotate, and this arm here is connected to this lever here, and all the while, this has been banging up against this unit right here. Making noises, probably vibration in his foot, but he didn't care. He was just riding, having a good time. This could be prevented. This could be adjusted. Let me show you. We follow this all the way back here. This unit here, rotates. When you turn it down, it moves this into, which moves this down. So you can adjust where this pedal is by the adjustment of this. So a few turns, I've got this not hitting anymore. Put a little blue Loctite down on this nut here, lock it down, and it's good to go, but it's something you need to keep your eyes on. This can back off, this can start rotating, this starts coming up and you start breaking things. All right, now, I've got this out and it's nice because I've got the exhaust system out of the way, but these two screws, Phillips screwdriver, take up. Now, when you take these screws out, clean them. The threads get all corrosion in it. Clean it and put just a dab of little three-in-one oil, something to keep it lubricated, because if those two screws get really, really rusted, you're going to break them off, and then this whole unit needs to be replaced. So doing a little lubing always helps out. Now, you'll notice on the outside it says dot five brake fluid. You don't have to guess at this. This is what's supposed to be in this. All right, so I take the lid off. I take the gasket off, and of course, I'm making sure there's no debris around here that can fall into it. All right, we're looking into it. It looks pretty clear, pretty amazing for the age of this motorcycle. Not a lot of moisture has gotten into this, but let's do a comparison here. I'll take a sample of this out and put it in this top of this cap that came off of a, another unit, and then let me use some brand new Dot 5 and put it around the edge. I spilled a little bit in there, but you can see the difference. Purple, brown, purple, brown. If you've got brown, let's change it. Let's put purple in, okay? It's a great indicator for dot five. Dot four, it's not as easy to tell the difference, but dot five, you can take a look, take a sample out, put it in a little white cup. If it's brown, change it. Factory, of course, always recommends every two years or very high mileage to change this. And if you live in an area that has a lot of moisture, change it more often. This area here is the most neglected thing on a Dyna because of its location, but it is one of the most important things you need to keep on top of. Just a little tech tip from Low Country Harley-Davidson and Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.